he prayed him that he might be was seen. He says, I've been living in the tombs. I'm going to go with you. I'm going to live with you in verse 19. In verse 19, I will be it. Jesus suffered him not, but says unto him, Go home to thy friends, born again anew. Not long standing believer. Now you've got a testimony. Now you are delivered, and you want to not just follow me. No, you must do something. Go back home to your friends and tell them how great things the Lord has done for thee and has had compassion on thee. Look at verse 20. In verse 20, and he departed and began to publish in the Capolis how great things Jesus had done for him. And all men did marvel. You see, he, he got involved in this great service of the Lord that he was introducing people to Christ. And the Bible says when, when Jesus came back to that, uh, community again. They were waiting for him. And many of them uh, received him. John chapter 1. I'm reading from verse 40. John chapter 1. Looking at verse 41 of the two. Which heard John speak and followed him, followed Christ, was Andrew, Simon Peter's brother. Look at verse 41. In verse 41, he first findeth his own brother Simon, and says unto him, We have found the Messiah, which is being interpreted the Christ. You see, the people that have real salvation, Genuine salvation, real conversion. They are not whole, they are not hiding the Bible, uh, you know, behind newspaper. They are not ashamed. I'm not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. They tell the people that are nearest to them. They are committed to the service of the Lord who has saved them. Look at verse 42. And he brought him. And he, Andrew, brought him, Peter, to Jesus. And when Jesus beheld him, beheld Peter, he said, Thou art Simon, the son of Jonah. Thou shalt be called Cephas, which is by interpretation a stone. You, you, you see all these people, they came to know the Lord. And he came to believe on the Lord. And as they believed on the Lord, immediately, nobody nominated them for church service. Nobody nominated them for church choir. Nobody nominated them for anything. But they took the message of the gospel, the good news, and the salvation of Christ, and they told it everywhere. Now that you are born again, you're born again, maybe Thursday or Friday or Saturday or Sunday or Monday or today, because I know that salvation is coming to you now. I said, I know salvation is coming to you now. If you believe, as you believe, when you believe, the salvation of the Lord will come. You repent of your sin and you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. It will give you a very definite experience of forgiveness, of freedom from your sin. It will give you an experience of genuine salvation. You may good amen. amen. And immediately you have that genuine salvation. This is how we know that the salvation is real. This is how we know that the forgiveness is definite with no shame, 
the first friend you meet, you're already serving the Lord and you're telling them, look at what I got and look at what you can get. And many people will follow you to the Lord Jesus in Jesus' name. And when you have a heart like that, that you really want to follow the Lord, you want to serve the Lord, you are not treating Jesus Christ like, you know, the waitress or the, they want serving food in a restaurant and you go there, serve me food and then you eat and then you are gone. Only when you are hungry again, you come back. Only when you are uh, kind of sick again, you come back. When you don't treat Jesus like a stranger, you treat him like my savior like my lord and you say i'm going to follow jesus to the end no turning back no turning back i've decided anybody deciding there today i have decided to follow christ no turning back no turning back everybody i say praise the lord now Hallelujah. when i got born again the church where I was born again was far away from where I lived. And nobody, because all the members of the church, they were not in the town where I was living. At least I didn't see any. But on my own, I'll take money, I'll take transportation, I'll go to the church, gospel church. And then I'll take literature, church literature, and I gather some of the students I was teaching mathematics. I gather them together. I just wanted everybody to hear of this Savior that changed my life. Nobody pushed me to eat. Nobody said, now you're a worker. This is what to do. This is what not to do. I just served the Lord from that time. And praise the Lord. I'm still serving the Lord. Am I serving the Lord? Yes, I said, am I serving the Lord? Yes, I love you. I really appreciate you. And the good thing that has happened to me will happen to you. Yes. All these many years, sicknesses came up. And once I say, Jesus, sickness will vamos. Vanish away. That's what I'm passing on to you tonight. Then the final night, I want to put the key in your hand. You believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. You have genuine salvation. You have real definite healing. And from today, everywhere you go, the Lord will go before you. His life will be reproduced in your life. His grace will multiply in your life. The salvation you get today, the salvation you get in this GCK will be permanent in Jesus' name. And the healing and the deliverance and the miracle that happens to you today will continue. I said will continue. And even when you become as old as I am, you'll still be as strong as I am. And your life will continue in the grace of God. And if it so happens that we don't meet again, I want us to meet again. I want to come back. Abba is the best place you can come to preach the gospel. Not only that, I missed it last year. And, uh, you know, because I missed it last year, I will come and come and come again. And now, if we meet again, if Jesus has not come before I come back, as we meet again, the healing that you receive now, I will still see it on you. And as you grow older, and older and older, that healing will never leave your life. And the deliverance will never leave your life. 
Anywhere I go, I'll be remembering you. And if I have any challenge, get to our pastors, overseers here. They'll get in touch with me. And once they get in touch, I'll send SOS prayer. Your life is now going to start afresh, bright, brighter, brightest. It's about and eyes closed. It's about and eyes closed. Today, you want to have the real salvation, genuine salvation that will remain and abide, and everybody will see this man is saved. This woman is saved. Wherever you are, raise up your hand. The Lord will forgive you. The Lord will save you. He'll give you genuine salvation. And your life will be totally transformed. You raise up your hand. If you are raising up your hand, this final day, rise up wherever you are. God bless you there. God bless you there. Salvation. Forgiveness, new life, eternal life. Raise up that hand. God bless you. I can see you there. Raise up the hand and stand up. And we're going to pray together. The salvation we have now is going to be genuine salvation. Change of life. Transformation of life. We're waiting. If there's still anybody that ought to key in to this prayer. You raise up your hand. You stand up. Any location where you are, online, anywhere, you want to have this kind of salvation that makes you steadfast, makes you righteous, brings a change, a transformation of life. We're praying now. Keep on standing. Radio, television, anywhere. Keep on standing. Father, in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, because whosoever comes to you genuinely, sincerely, honestly, you will in no wise reject. And I pray as they come, as they repent, as they believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, Forgive them. Change their lives. Change their hearts. Grant them genuine salvation. Grant them eternal life. Grant them a convincing experience that they know the Lord, they live for the Lord, and the grace to uphold the gospel grant to every one of them. Thank you, Lord. Let there be joy of salvation, assurance of salvation, and the determination to follow after the steps of Christ. And I pray as they rise, as they follow, as they walk with Christ, they will not fall back. You will not fall back. You keep on following until it comes to take you to heaven. Thank you, Lord. We know it's done. In Jesus' name we pray. Keep on standing. Our pastor, the moderating overseer tonight will come and lead us in this time of counseling. God bless you. Praise the Lord for the salvation he has given you. Praise the Lord. We thank God for that message. Glorious transformation to Christ's glorious triumph. What a blessed encounter. You saw it. You heard it. It is real in your life. Things will never remain ugly in your life again. In Jesus' name. Thank God for that message. Your life has been touched. Please, keep standing. 
Let our counselors now get to all the people making this decision tonight. No one should be left out. Please, all our counselors, let's distribute ourselves to the people standing up. Let's remember those in the large tent, those on the road. Nobody who has taken this decision tonight should be left out. Get their records. Please, all of us, children of God, who have decided to follow the Lord, appreciating that Christ left heaven and came and paid the price. Satan has no right to have dominion over you again. You reject him. Reject him from now. And the Lord will keep you by his grace. Fill that form. If you can write, please write in capital letters. If you can't, our counselors will help you give them your name correctly. And our counselors, please write in capital letters in upper case. Then give them your address. Also, your cell phone number. It should be 11 digits. Our counselors, please cross check. You're not preaching. You're just getting this information on the decision slip. As you give them, please guide them. If there is no house number, a clear street address, there must be somewhere around you that helps to identify where you reside. Please give them the name of that particular spot. The nearest place that is near where you are and to which you can be located. Because now you've taken a decision to follow Christ to heaven. Bye-bye to Satan. Bye-bye to anything sinful. By the grace of God, that power will come upon you. Look at that woman the Lord encountered. A change took place. And she started right there. Look at the other man. He went and started publishing. That's what will happen from now. And I pray that God will keep you in this decision that you've taken today. All our counselors, please, let's move fast. There are people far behind who lifted up their hands. Please reach out to them. On the right, on the left, in the front, in the middle. Make sure as they're standing, you get to them quickly. All our workers, all our choristers, it's not only for the ushers, please. All workers are cancel us now. We help. All our brethren that have taken this decision because they are now the children of God, brothers and sisters in the faith, we will help them to abide and keep following the Lord. And by the grace of God, like our Father in the Lord has said, if the Lord comes earlier than we expect, our Father in the Lord will see you in heaven. We shall all meet at the feet of Jesus. Praise the Lord. So please, it's a serious business. Make sure you give them your correct name because now you are a child of God, a brand new person. You are not going to be like the person you were before. You are now a brand new man, a brand new woman, a brand new boy, a brand new girl. You've been brought into God's family. You now belong to God's family. You will get to the kingdom of God at the end of your journey. Let our counselors help you. Please give them the correct information about you. Give them your cell phone number. Let them have your correct identity that anytime you could be reached and helped. That's how God helped us. By the grace of God, we heard the word like you've heard tonight. And we took the decision to follow the Lord. He's been faithful. The Lord has a power to keep you, no matter what is happening in the world today. So please, help our counselors to get all the information that will help us to keep assisting you in this journey to heaven. Our counselors, please, move fast. We should not forget those in the large tent there. A lot of people there. Please, let's reach out to them, our ushers, our choristers, all workers across board, please. Let's distribute ourselves now and write legibly, write clearly, write in capital letters. And then...
God bless you. God bless you. Remember, another time of great explosion of miracles will come. So no one should leave now. God, God is ready to do something supernatural, glorious, wonderful, triumphant in your life. I want to assure you by the Spirit of God that every problem represented here tonight that have been brought here will never resist the prayer of the servant of God when he comes. Can the church shout amen? amen. Miracle is coming. Miracle is coming. Counsel us, please help. Let's move fast. And after you've taken the information from our new babes in Christ, still stand around them. Let's be around all. So when the miracle prayer comes, you will assist them to do what they've never been able to do before. Because God's hand will be, up, will be upon all here tonight. Please, all brothers and sisters who have taken the decision to follow Christ, indicate by standing up and wave your hand to those counselors who are moving in the midst of us. Call their attention and let them know that your record has not been taken. Don't allow yourself to be omitted in the record by all our counselors tonight. Help them to take your details. Let's not forget those at the rear, far behind. Please, let's get to them. And on the left, this way, let's get to the people at this extreme end of my left. Cancel us, please. Let's spread. No one should be left out, please. Those on the road, reach out to them because this is the last night. May no one that has come into this mega mall be missing in the salvation of the Lord. So please, those that have taken this decision tonight to follow the Lord, let's help them. Let's go to the street. Let's go to the large tent. Let's come on the field here. Right, middle, left, front and back. And online, those of all that have taken the decision, remember, you have to give this information that you've given your life to Christ, your social media, your Android phone, device, please click on the link. There, gckheadquarters.org slash connect. You click it below your player. Please visit it and fill out the form so we can assist you further in your new work with Christ. Also, if you listen to the message tonight via radio or television and you have taken the decision to follow Christ, please send your name, your cell phone number, and your location address via SMS, that's through text, or WhatsApp. Use this number, plus 234-915-444-9263. I repeat. You listen via radio or television, please, as you've taken the decision, to follow the Lord. Send your phone number, your address, your location via SMS or WhatsApp through this number I'm calling now. Plus 234 
0242-2263. Remember, just this coming Sunday, there will be special converse rally. That's May 5th in all our churches globally. So in every place you are, and you've taken this decision, locate the nearest branch of this ministry. Please don't be missing out in that special meeting. More will be given you. Our pastor will be happy hearing that you are standing strong, abiding in this decision. You will grow to be a giant in the faith, a mighty instrument in the hand of the devil. And God will make your life wonderful in Jesus' name. I said in Jesus' name. And here in Abba, that Sunday 5th, in all our group headquarters, to make it easier and nearer to you, we shall be having believers banquet that Sunday, 3 p.m. across across Abba City here. We are expecting you to be there. And the Lord will bless you. I said the Lord will bless you. So remind those who have given their life to Christ on Thursday to yesterday and maybe for one reason or the other they are not here. So please remind them if you know them, if you brought them, tell them that there will be a special believers banquet on Sunday 5th in all our group headquarters here in about time 3 p.m. Please, our counselors, if we have taken the records of all who have taken the decision tonight, can you indicate by raising the flag up? I'm seeing just a few. Okay, please, if we have covered all of them, what about on the left here? I've not seen the flag this way on the left. Because the Lord moved wonderfully. The message was pungent. And the Lord touched many lives. Okay. Near the entrance there. Are we all right? Wave the flag. Well, if we are done, if we've gotten all the details... Praise the Lord. I said praise the Lord. We are told appreciation means application for more. We need to thank God for what he has done. That's why when you hear praise the Lord, you shout hallelujah. Say praise the Lord. Our Father in the Lord is ready. As he comes now to declare God's miracle, believe him. You will receive the miracle. You are welcome, sir. Thank you. Amen. Amen. I will receive my miracle. I will receive, I will receive my healing receive. this final night. You must not carry another person's load back home. What I mean is sickness is Satan's load. Don't carry it for him. All that disease is Satan's load. You will not carry his load for him. Satan, get your load back. I said, say it now. Satan is gone. You raise up your hand. And you lay the other hand where you have the challenge. And tonight, the Lord will heal you. That load of sickness, that load of infirmity, that load of incurable disease, terminal disease, is gone. Raise up that hand, lay the hand, lay the other hand. When you have the challenge, when you hear the final amen, it's done. Father, in Jesus' name, 
We thank you that this final night is a night of miracle, a night of healing, a night of deliverance. In your love, in your mercy, your compassion, your power, your might, visit everyone in Jesus' name. Sickness, whatever your name, disease, whatever your description, I command you, come out in Jesus' name. Disease in the head, in the blood system, in the stomach, in the bone, I command you now, be healed in Jesus' name. Swelling in any part of the body. And whatever is the root cause of that swelling, vanish away in Jesus' name. Blindness, be my sight. The Lord is touching you right now. Receive your bright eyesight in Jesus' name. Deaf and dumb, miracle of hearing, miracle of speaking. Come upon your life right now. Lord, do it for everyone in Jesus' name. That with that hand come afresh. And let the strength of the Lord be on that with that hand and become as normal as the other. Amen. That short leg grow out in Jesus' name. Amen. Arthritis in the waist, arthritis on the knees, arthritis in your joints, arthritis I command you. Come out in Jesus' name. Amen. Paralysis, just on that wheelchair, on crutches, I pray the power of the Lord will come upon your body right now. Where there is weakness, I command strength. Where you are just impotent and you cannot even stand, I command healing to come on your body now in Jesus' name. Every chain of the devil Every madness coming from the devil, every sin that is the work of Satan is destroyed from your body. You're free. You are free. You are healed. You are delivered. And I pray that this healing, this deliverance, this miracle will be permanent in your life. Lord, confirm it in everyone. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. It is done. It is done. Shout a big amen. Your miracle is there. The healing has taken place. Rise up and walk. Open your eyes and see. Speak to that ear now. The ear is open. That tongue is loosed. No more dumpness. The deaf and dumb, the hand of God has touched you. Check that mad fellow now. That madness has gone. No mercy has resigned. The miracle is there. Please be calm everywhere. No movement. No movement. The Holy Spirit is moving. The hand of the Lord is touching you. After the prayer of his servant. As you. Check up. Begin to come out. Great things have taken place now. To the prayer of God's servant. Your healing is on you. Praise the Lord. Okay, sir, please come up. The miracle is on you. The deliverance has taken place. The sickness is gone. Come up. 
Come out. We're going to come out. Quickly. Quickly. Our counselors, please. Help. All those the Lord has touched. Let them exercise themselves. Do not doubt. The healing has taken place. Please come out quickly. Our overseers, our group pastors, please help us to interview all the ones the Lord has touched who have testimonies to share with us tonight. Please move out to my left here. You will see our ministers and they will speak with you. The Lord has performed great wonders in our midst tonight. Hallelujah. Okay, sir, please. Let's bless the Lord. Let's worship the Lord for great things he has done. The miracle is there. The miracle is there. I've told you, do not rush home. Please. Allow the Spirit of God to keep moving. And those you have checked and the miracle is there, please come out. Don't hide it. You had our sister. The miracle took place. But he said, I will wait. When God has done it, he has done it. And it is permanent. Praise the Lord. Keep coming out. Keep coming out. We will hear great things the Lord has done. Please, keep coming out. Don't say, let me go. We have our medical doctor there. He will explain to them. And they will help you. To confirm the Lord's healing on you tonight. Okay, sir, please.
are still waiting for you. Come. Don't rush home. This is a great night of celebration. Join the praise. Join the praise. It's a night of celebration everywhere. fallen you have crossed over let's listen to the testimony now I am dr. John Ume a medical doctor with me is victory or that has a unique story to tell us let's listen to her brother praise the Lord hallelujah my name is sister Vincent Sigwe from Line group Abba Abba so I want to return glory to God for what he, he has done for me. This uh, God is marvelous and has done so marvelous things for me. Praise the Lord. So I uh, just developed a challenge, a health challenge, sleeplessness. I went to the doctor. I explained to the doctor. The doctor examined me. The doctor told me that I have insomnia. So I mean, that is, I cannot sleep in the day. I cannot sleep in the night. For the past five years, praise the Lord. But I want to thank God that during this period, I decided not to tell anybody about God. But I, I will tell my, uh, my uh, woman leader. He will encourage me and pray with me. He, she told me that one day, God will roll this problem away. That anything that has a beginning must surely have an end. Praise the Lord. So I want to thank God that GCK June 2022, God visited me. Praise the Lord. I wrote this problem away. That from that June 2022 till now, I can sleep like a bear. Praise the Lord. Without drugs. Unlike before, I cannot sleep without drugs. But today, I can sleep like a bear without drugs. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I cannot even remember, cannot even remember the names of the, those drugs again. God has wrote the problem away and thrown away the names of the drug for me. I said, this God who has done these marvelous things for me, may his name be glorified forever and ever in Jesus' name. She had five years of insomnia, could only sleep with drugs, medications, but God took it away, her story has changed. Gone and gone forever. Jam your hand together for the Lord Jesus. You see what the Lord has done for our sister. Thank you. 
that testimony quickly? Standing beside me is Mrs. Joy Emmanuel. She has a testimony to share with us. Let's listen to her. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Sister Joy Emmanuel. Yes, I'm not. Oh, I'm not. 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 I'm I'm not. 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 Abu ano lo azaraza ya na mi nuku onwe mi ke iji agari ije umun nam lo man na mai de pere me pere mbem ga duro ga bu na retreat ya da jum sister jo agiri mre lo ku ma se la ma mre mre nuku la ma mre mre beto la ola he ambo obi e lo ga ila ala we pe kura me pere me de kele chine ke si chine ke onye mmere o ga bu na ma ga chas di retreat ya ho lo nye kwa testimony o du lo ga bu na lo ga gisti e Chinaki <laughs> Lao gela la kena bo ma mali ti de pe pe re kan ba tu se ba re ba de pe pe re o de ho abala meku ma ma de pe pe re da kwa chi na ko ku do la sa tu de onyo asu ku onyo asu atro ku anya bi amali te o ga bu ni nya message o ga anya asu e so onyo abala nga ho abala nde mi pi igoli aka gelu me igoli aka aka ri me elu ali o tum japa li oku mo su me le ji aka la la foto ya sa chi na ke la oku ke nge la ta na oku ke na nge la o chi ba e pe chale pe Hallelujah. Let's hear the interpreter. Praise the Lord. Our sister is from Ostiama region. And this started after the, uh, the uh, Easter retreat. She have a pain in the legs. And before you know it, it becomes uh, so severe that she cannot walk. And people are asking her, what's the problem? She said, you don't know. And she continued. Before the end of the retreat, it have a relief. But before the starting of this GCK, it becomes so severe. And she said, since our Father in the Lord is coming to this GCK, I must go to this GCK with this problem and it will not come back with me. You, then as she come on Sunday, maybe Saturday, as the man of God was praying, she cannot bend down to touch the leg. Then she placed her head on her, her tummy and said, this leg you must go. And at the final amen, you can see her demonstration jumping as she said that he was able to walk around, walk around. You can see her jumping. It's an evidence of what God has done. Praise the Lord! One month history of um, one month history of uh, left knee osteoarthritis disappear. You can see her. She could walk now and God has healed her. Praise the Lord! This is a special night. I want to announce to you that the number one citizen of Abia State, the executive governor of Abia State, Dr. Alex Oti is here. And he would want to greet the people of Abia. You're welcome, sir.
children of God, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our Father in the Lord, the man of God, the man that God chose to use to propagate his ministry in Nigeria, in West Africa, in Africa, and the rest of the world. Daddy William Falurun Shaw Kumui PhD the real PhD you know there are some PhDs that are written with the small letter P And most importantly, an anointed man of God. Yeah. Let me also recognize Mommy Esther. <laughs> Thank you for coming to Abia State. And I'll use the two of them to recognize Let me use the two of them to recognize all other anointed men and women of God that are here. And if I may ask that you sit down at this time, please resume your seats. Thank you very much. The chief of staff to the governor, Pastor Caleb Ajaba, PhD. The Honorable Co for Petroleum and Mineral Resources, <laughs> Professor Joel Obonna, who until yesterday, I did not know he's a member of this great church. <laughs> so he was appointed on his own merit. And I want to thank the church for producing such a fine gentleman. <laughs> also with me here is the special assistant to the governor on religious matters, Apostle Casey Wiper. Children of God, I greet you all. Aba Mamanu, Kelenu, Mamanu, Kelenu, Omuani, ah. I'm very pleased to be here this evening. I was out of the country when our daddy in the Lord arrived here last week. And I happened to have arrived two days ago. I was struggling with so many things. So I wasn't too sure I could make it. But I gave my word that if I found a little window, that I will come and be part of this.
You know, God designs everything. Everything that would have stopped me from coming gave way, and I'm here. So I want to first of all thank our daddy for the choice of Abba for this global crusade. I want to thank the Enimba city for coming out in mass to celebrate him. The sea of heads that I see here is a great endorsement that this man was called by God. At over 80, he is still on his feet, going around and preaching the gospel, healing the sick, pronouncing blessings upon people. And because he has been doing this, blessing will never depart from his as well. His ministry will continue to be blessed. His generation is blessed. In Jesus' name. I won't keep you too long. I just want to say thank you for everything that you have done, for all the support that you've given this administration. Yesterday, we realized that we had spent 11 months in office. To the glory of God, it has been a supercharged 11 months. A lot of things that people believed could not happen have happened. When in November, or October really, Toward the end of October, we brought Julius Beja to Port Harcourt Road. People said it wasn't possible. And if you follow, Julius Beja is already asphalting Port Harcourt Road. So a road that has not been used for 20 years is going to be used by the end of this year. I always refer to the story recorded in the Bible between Philip and Nathanael. Do you remember that story? It's actually um, written in the New Testament. And then, it was Jesus that found Nathaniel, and that found Philip. And Philip 